Yo, what is up, bros? We are back with the final mission of Strategic Mine Blitzkrieg Battle for Berlin. We got Halder and his loyals, which include Monstein, Rommel, Guderian, Canaris. Uh, seems like there might have been somebody else. And then all of Goring's loyals battling out for Berlin. And I'm just taking this has been such a long journey that it doesn't even seem possible that I'm looking at it right now. The first video I did on Strategic Mind Blitzkrieg was July 29th of 2020. How is that even possible? Anyways, before we get started, there's a few things I want to do. Check this out. We can now upgrade Tigers to King Tigers. Plus two soft attack, plus six hard attack, uh, plus one to air defense, plus four to hard defense, plus we get Overwatch. So I'm going to upgrade a few of these. We got 5,500 currency to spend. I'm going to upgrade some Tigers. I also wanted to upgrade more of our crappy artillery to the Hummels. The Hummel last uh, mission was completely badass. It was amazing. All right, pros. I don't know if this was smart or not, but I went all in on King Tigers. We got 10 of those. I did put a little bit of money in my artillery, got three more Hummels, and I gave the infantry units better equipment for fighting in cities. So with that, bros, let's go. Battle for Berlin. Defeat Goring's troops and establish control over Berlin. Surely Goring is not the best candidate for the head of state. Surely. Yet I thought him to be better than Hitler. As he spoke of peace, unfortunately I was mistaken. Goering does not want peace. He's a clear proponent of terror. My men have found undeniable proof that Goering was at the head of the resistance. Busted. He ordered the assassination of the Fuhrer. Goering is not just a hypocritical politician. He's a criminal. It seems our new Fuhrer is no better than his predecessor. I suspect he used the whole Wehrmacht and you personally to his own ends. He needed you only to get to power. I felt that he was not to be trusted. But I hoped he still had some decency and honor left in him. Friends, when you return to Berlin, you will immediately be arrested. They are preparing a court which will judge you, Meinstein, Rommel, and Guderian on accusations of organizing the assassination of Hitler. Then you will all be publicly executed. Damn. This despicable scoundrel cannot be allowed to rule our great land. Dark times are coming for our country. Germany must be governed only by people of honor. Those who put the well-being of the German people above all else. The time has come for the army to intervene. Politics is not what a true officer should be preoccupied with. My sacred duty is to serve Germany and its people. The only person who can put Germany in order in this time of peril is you, Halder. The army and navy will support you. Your authority is undisputed. How can we allow a greedy and power-crazed wannabe Fuhrer to rule our country? I think you must take power and control into your own hands. Well, we have bitten our enemies in Europe. Now we have to defeat our last enemy in the very heart of Germany. The situation forces me to make this difficult decision, Canaris. Assemble all the combat ready troops and occupy Berlin. Damn. That'd be crazy. Franz, we have an incoming call from Berlin. I believe Gehring wants to have a word with you. No. Patch him through. Halder, you disgusting, good-for-nothing, scheming, two-faced traitor. How dare you turn against me? You are a treasonous snake, damn you, a snake. I fight for the German nation's future, Reichsmarschall. And right now, the biggest threat to it is you. When I supported your takeover, 
I expected to see practical and considerate leadership. What I got in turn was you've proven yourself to be no better than Hitler. I will not stand by as you erode the foundations of our nation in the name of your greed and ego. Well, let's see you try, Halder. There are plenty of troops loyal to me. They will nip your little rebellion in the bud. If they are not enough, I'll drive the entire population of Berlin to the barricades, down to the last schoolboy old enough to hold a rifle. And when all that is finished, I'll personally hang you from the Brandenburg Gate. Wilhelm, any updates on my officers? Where is he keeping them? They're held at the Gestapo headquarters in northern Berlin. Mm. Security there can be described as excessive. Oh, and Franz. My agents among the new Führer's inner circle report he has recently signed the execution order. We might already be too late. If that happened, Goering wouldn't fail to bring it up, trying to destroy our morale, make us angry and therefore prone to mistakes. We must not let it happen. Our old comrades in arms are alive, I'm sure of it. However, every moment we waste may prove fatal, and right now we need to free them as soon as we can. Besides that, we must prioritize going after Goering's main weapon, the Air Force. To that end, we must take the airports of Berlin. The northern, the northwestern, the southwestern, and the southern one, berlin Tempelhof, which is also the city's largest. If we secure air supremacy, we can easily deal with the new Führer's ground forces. Luckily, a considerable number of the Luftwaffe aces are on our side. In the skies above Berlin, Goering's pilots will meet their match. Franz, the German Navy stands with you, but I imagine that would be little comfort to you during a land invasion. Do not worry, Carl. Somehow we'll manage. We'll help any information on the enemy's numbers. As expected, the majority of the SS units have remained loyal to the new Führer, especially those who were involved in the heaviest punitive actions on the Eastern Front. They know they won't escape judgment if they leave their leader's side. Hitler did not trust the Wehrmacht, so he turned those security forces into a private army, and now Goering is in command of it. Those soldiers have superior equipment and are absolutely ruthless to boot. So that's where all the newest armaments went. Doesn't matter. Equipment is not where the battle is won. My troops have fought this entire war against enemy soldiers, not partisans or civilians. Goering is in for a rude awakening. Gentlemen, this is the day of reckoning. Begin the operation. Damn! What a story, but I will also say this, I hate the fact, I hate when there's a bunch of aircraft, and I bet this is gonna be a shit ton. Alright, let's take a look at the size of Berlin. Uh, yeah, it's massive. So we can deploy in the south, in the middle, and in the north. We're given some crapper troops. Alright, bros, let me go ahead and deploy what I got. I'm not going to deploy everything because, as we found out last time, it hurts our command points. I think I'm going to put my best equipment up here because we got to free the German officers. All right, bros, I got down. All our units were deploying in the first wave. I didn't put down and I'm not going to any of the crapper tanks. Probably not the elephant tanks because we got the king tigers. Crappy artillery, they never even are able to move up on the front. I will put down all our infantry and we really don't even need our bombers yet because the skies are probably going to be absolutely full of goring loyals all right bros with that let's begin we're gonna go ahead and get started in the north because that is where michael Wittmann has been placed kurdy is with the group all the way in the south so there is monstein rommel and guderian we must get to them as quickly as possible that's why michael Wittmann is leading the charge And that is exactly the type of type of start we needed here. Damn, he's such a such a badass. Get a little, little bit of recon. Damn, 
Damn, there's infantry everywhere. I wonder if this is open. It is open. Nice. Should we sneak this ti this King Tiger south? And attack, or should we attack from the bros down here? Let's do this one. I mean, that artillery, all it does is kind of tickle a little bit. These King Tigers. I mean, I actually took a decent amount of damage there, though. Oh, shit. That's an 88. That's going to take... Yeah, I was going to say that's going to give us damage. That was an 88. I was like, oh, crap. That's definitely going to do us damage. Okay, so we got the leading part secured. I wish I could reach that, but I don't think we'll... I don't think we can reach that just from the beginning. Unless... And yeah, we're not going to be able to screw it. Let's go take out this artillery. Ooh, hold on a sec. Okay, hold on, hold on. We, we, we might be able to do this. Is that too damage? It's too damage. We might be able to take this. There has to be somebody waiting there, there for us for this to work. Is there an infantry there or something? Damn it, there's not. One time I actually won an enemy to be there. The Hummel is... The Hummel don't mess around. The Hummels are vicious. I wish that gave me a movement. Well, I guess let's, uh, we need, let's get the 88. Near Wittmann, we'll get our other flak. Let's get our other flak moved up here with these bros. And the other King Tiger. You need to, uh, go with Wittmann. We'll get this other bro coming back up to the north. He'll be fine. All right, let me move up the rest of these crappers. I'll protect my artillery with my fighters. All right, we got those moved up. Now, back to here. What do we want to do here, guys? I would say... Yeah, they got a... Oh, damn, they got a... They got a hum Hummel as well. Their Hummel doesn't Hummel like my Hummel. Let's use the flame. Nice. Do we take that damage or do we call in some some artillery backup? Oh, that doesn't do any damage to that. Well, um, and we have no recon cars in here. I just realized I set it up with no recon cars. A lot of Decent amount of tigers, though, huh? I, I loaded up on the King Tigers. Oh, just out of sight, too. we have got four King Tigers down here. There we go. I don't think I want to attack. I don't think I want to attack the bros in there unless we loosen them up first. Damn, I didn't expect him to do that much damage. Oh, recon! Nice! Yeah, see, that was doing... That was doing major damage to us. We don't want to attack that. But if we can get this bro in there... There we go. There we go! Unfortunately, the crappiest King Tiger goes through first. Nice. 
I don't want to take all those hits. Except we kind of need to at first because we have to be in supplies. And these bros inside these buildings affect our supply routes. So we kind of got to take some damage, I think. I'm just going to take this hit. That'll allow us to move up. Oh, actually, that'll allow... Yeah, 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 that'll allow him to take that out. Nice! Nice! Now, we need to move the anti-air up. I'm guessing that's going to be open? I mean, I'll risk it. They have been so far. Yeah, that was open. Nice. So the whole front line is... should be in supplies now. All right, we got everybody moved up. Planes protecting units. Now, in the south, how do we want to handle this? So we got supplies here and we got supplies down here. If we could capture both of them, that'd be nice. Can you do much damage? You can't. But we do have artillery. All right, let's hit this building and we'll hit that building. And we should be able to take those out, no problem. All right, got it. And we can move up into that. We got one of them. Uh, should we go guard? Should we... Let's go... Let's take this out. We'll start working on entrenchment on some of those units. We'll do a little bit of recon. Yeah, they're pretty... They're pretty stacked in here, aren't they? Yeah, they got... These streets are packed. Shit, I'm gonna go south and take out these tanks. Alright, so far, so, so good. Good start. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we just need to... We can do a little bit more recon. Let's do some recon in the north. I actually need to loosen some of these guys up. See, look at my infantry. My infantry throws down some damage. Remember, you can tell my, my units because the green circle, the units we were given at the first have the yellow square. That's a lot of the times I don't even care if the yellow square gets it or not. Hold on, this must be... This must be Kurt. It's not Kurt, but he doesn't... He doesn't take any damage from infantry. I thought for sure that was Kurt. You can't... There's no line of sight there? Bruh. Alright, whatever. We can take the other artillery out. Hummel to Hummel, we can't even reach. Oh, I already used it. So we do have a little assault gun here. Let's try to loosen up the infantry in there a little bit more. Nice, nah, got a little bit more intel. Oh. All right, so let's... Let's get our good anti-air vehicles up and get our fighters over our good units. I'm thinking that was a solid first day of attack on Berlin. What date is it? It's July 4th, 1944. So the rest of my reserves, like I said, I'm not going to put them all down. I need all my infantry. I don't need my bombers right now till later because I'm not going to use them because they probably have their air force is probably massive. Um, yeah, so let me get down our infantry. All right, bro. So because of all the dialogue, I think we're only going to have time to get one day worth of attacking in. I will not leave you hanging, though, a week. I'll try to get these out at least every other day, if not every day, because I'm fully invested in saving Guderian, Munstein, and Rommel. We are that close. All right, bros, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap subscribe, hit the notification button, also make it for next upload. Peace, Bruminati, out.